Right, um, yeah, I would say, yeah, let's just begin by leaving camp, right? Don't think we wanted to do anything here. We don't have anyone to talk to, so off we go. Lucky Zelda t-shirt, thank you. I also really like it with the gold. The best part about summer, you can show off like all your shirts. Okay, so yeah, let's go and explore the Druid Grove. It's been a while. I looked it up, it's been like over a year since we did that for the first time. How much further can I go? Yes, I'm, st I'm still so proud of myself that we uh, got the sword. I mean, I can't really be proud of myself because it was mainly like chance, but still. I think where I can be proud of like my, my skill is that Shadowheart managed that really hard fight in the, in the crypt, right? Oh well. Let's get to know Aridan, my favorite character. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! <laughs> oh gosh, I, I don't think I'm going to take like the draw options a lot, but I really like them. Ah, backstabbing. This feels just like home. Which actually could also be like a Zevran quote. Oh well. But I mean, in the end, no one died, right? I mean, we saved the day. Everything worked out. Mm, I don't think Lavender's cheery enough to do the Bard one. What's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. I think for that, there's too much edge going on. I like the Paladin one. I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourself lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Right. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please. You literally you did. begging me to open the gate. Anything right. to save yourself, you coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. I really dislike him. If you're playing a tiefling, which I did like the first time, as you might know, he also is like really quick to like throw out like slurs against tieflings. I don't know. Eridan didn't win me over at all. So maybe that colors a little bit my actors now. We could go for a melee attack, which is kind of satisfying. Let's go with the persuasion one, like fighting our urges and just trying to suppress any violence here. Even though, like, Vengeance Paladin, we could just bonk him. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Ooh, 15. Uh, come on, Shadowheart, guide me. Do we also take the body inspiration? I mean, if it doesn't work out, what's the word that's going to happen? Is everything going to come at us? Bring it. I guess we're not finding out today. Is the 27 enough? I really like how it's going to start off today. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At and least he's such a hypocrite. Like, worried about your precious eyes. Oh, anyway. unlike you. Look. Hmm? Ah, they're all fighters. Second wind. Okay, then let's talk to Zelda, our tiefling. Well, not yet friend, but let's go. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. I wouldn't have looked to a drow for help, but I'm grateful all the same. Hey. I'm Zevlor. Excuse me. I'm Lavender. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Hmm. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I'm really curious, like, how many comments there are about us being a drow. Cause... As you already heard with Zevlor, people are not too fond of drows. 
Mm, so excited for tomorrow afternoon, going to see Beetlejuice 2 with family and friends. Had my daughter watch the original film last night, she's also looking forward to the sequel. Oh nice, I didn't even know there was a sequel to be honest. <laughs> but hey, enjoy it! In what it went into the checking data loop again, so deinstalling and installing the game again sadly it is. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope it will work out then. But yeah, don't re-downloading BG3 takes forever. Uh, draw up a lot of dialogue in Act 1. Oh nice, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, we also know why, but I'm not going to spoil that just yet. Um, why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual like, right? to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Because, I mean, druids are usually, like, in tune with nature and, like, about protection and stuff like that. Kind of odd that they want to cut off the whole grove and everything. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business. But she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Because, I mean, it also doesn't really sound like she's going to help us, right? Oh, well, we still do need a healer. Mm, as a wreck, I've got too much else to deal with right now. You know, perhaps if you could help me find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halcyn's a renowned yeah, healer, bit worse than but that. he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most serious, like, a mind flash set post like a 14 and a half. It's really not good. So yeah, Julia, uh, maybe for a little bit of context, we all have a tadpole, like a mind flare tadpole on our minds. So um, we're really trying to get rid of it because we don't want to turn into mind flares. Hmm. I'll find her and I'll speak to Kaga while I'm there. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. We're looking for Hila, Starion. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. Aww. But I mean, then again, oh, how would Let's I go. even hide my heritage, right? I mean... So far, we have basically what we have equipped, that's everything. What am I going to use for hiding? Just covering myself in leather armor or something? Oh well. Oh hey, Nostara has a level up. And hi Oli, nice to see you. Thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing fine. I mean, since a star is a bard in this playthrough, we do actually have a few choices. Um, I think the biggest choice is which college we want. Um, and since we're kind of going with Lavender for a college of swords slash paladin, I think we don't want to do that with Starion as well. Yep, all good. <laughs> nice to hear. Let's pull this game game going. Really well. I mean, it's just the second stream in, but um, I mean, I played it before, now doing like Dark Earth playthrough, and so far it's been very interesting to see all the differences. Oh, Bada Star, really interesting. I think with all the sass, it's really fitting. Mm, okay, we can go for Vela or for Lore. And I think I just like Lore so much that we're going to go Lore. Of course, um, what lore gives you is at level 6 you gain uh, magical secrets, which basically lets you pick like from all the spellcaster lists, like all the spell lists, 
um, two spells of your liking. And it's just so nice, because, I mean, basically you get access to Fireball and what else do you want. I think in the last playthrough, um, yeah, Garen, so the main character, was a Law Bard. And he went for, uh, I think, Counterspell and Fireball. And it's just so nice. I don't even know... I know that College of Valor is still, like, not a melee bard. Or not, like, focusing on melee combat as much as, like, College of Swords. But you do get this combat inspiration, which also can go on, like, um, uh, AC, for example. Um, I think we're going to go for lore. It's just, it's just fun. Okay, what spell do we take? Uh, well, I think Detect Thoughts is fun. I don't think we want that on our supporting character. So, Enhanced Ability it is, I think. Or do I want to focus more on battles? I think we need to focus a little bit more on battles, because I mean we're playing on Tactician. So we should look out for that. We just go for Shatter. I mean for a little bit of like AoE damage. I think that, that might be smart. I mean Knock is also fun. But I mean, a starring can also just open locks, right? So who needs who needs knock anyway? Let's see when the first time is going to be where I will eat my words. I think I also never used calm emotions in BG3. Anyone of you ever used it? Is it useful? Because I mean, humanoids can't be charmed, right, and become enraged. I guess it can be nice to like fuck around a little bit with the enemy barbarians. Beside that. Yeah, we're going to go with Shatter. Ooh, and we do get expertise. So let's go for lockpicking expertise. And Perception, maybe. I mean perception is like the check you do like most often, so I think that's that's smart. I don't think we actually roll that often on stealth. Uh, regarding the other things, let's go with some insights, some animal handling, and some acrobatics. I'm also not really sure how often you roll acrobatics, but here we go. I never used it. Yeah. You mean like calm emotions, right? Me neither. Right. Do we want to change the spell? I don't think so. I think Long Strider is actually kind of fun. We can change Tasha City's laughter and maybe go for <laughs> calm emotions. Eh. We can go for heat metal. I rarely, or yeah, very rarely use that. I think that could be fun. Here we go. Maybe it's not that smart to balance like a tactician playthrough with a hey, let's try new things <laughs> playthrough. Oh well. Uh, what was the highlight button again in this game? Is it tap? Nope. Hmm. No traps, oh well. please. Ooh, some food, some food choice. Road dust, grey clothes, racks, gladiatorial like sandals. I gotta say, I like our current clothes more. Hmm. You know what? Let's take the clothes. But the Rex, I don't think we need. <laughs> ah, I really like this place. There's so much to explore. When you drew it around, so much nature. And especially after like beginning in Hells and beginning with like the Nautiloid ship parts all around torn up, I think it's a nice change. A bit more peaceful. Ah, this is the break button. Mmm, Chuck Up Daggers is also fun. Yeah. I used that too, but at least during early access I was really good in running into it myself, so... Eh. <laughs> Alright, Julia. Thanks for dropping by. Cannon's belongings. Who's Cannon? Is that the dead one? It's the dead one. Do we feel so bad to steal from that? 
Yes, we do. Does the Starring feel so bad about stealing that? And no. Let's have a look. It's an apple. I think we already do have a flute. Um, a Starion. Okay. You sure that's like the best way to go there? All right. Guns belongings. Ooh, some arrows. Let's see if we're going to use more arrows this playthrough. Cause first time I played, I didn't really use play. Uh, I, I didn't really use playthroughs. I didn't really use arrows. How many die today? Oh boy. How many die tomorrow? Best be oh on my boy. Way. Come on, Lavender, chill your base. Yeah. Let's have a look around. I'm wondering if I ever tried to use Speak with Dad on Canon. I don't think so, but I also don't think they're going to appreciate it. Let's see. Hey, why are you grieving? Let's talk to him. The corpse regards you. Oh, it actually works. I think we never did that. Who are you? Cannon. We don't really need to ask what happened to you, cause we we, we kind of saw that. What is your profession? Taylor before God. Poor guy. Volunteered. It's really sad. I mean, we kind of used up like all our resurrection scrolls already, but um, it's so sad that you can just like revivify like your own party members. It would be really cool if you could also just like revive NPCs. But I guess that would also mean so much chaos for the game itself. I can understand it, but sometimes it does make you sad. Where are you from? I... We... From Elturel... Left... Oh, who left Elturel with you? Sister... I mean, since we already have like one more question left, what happened to you? Killed. Arrow. Can't breathe. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Yeah, it's always five questions. No more. Oh, well, uh, for using the spell, we also got an inspiration. Let's talk to them. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. God, it makes me feel even worse for casting sweep of dead. Oh well. Not now. Please. I really wish I could do something. But yeah, no way to save him. May he rest by your side. He... He never hurt anyone. I always knew what to say when I was homesick. He never let it show, but he was homesick too. He didn't deserve this. Oh. Now I feel even worse about using the spell. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm, if you're wondering why they are all fleeing from Elturel, cause that might be... I don't think they're going to explain it. And there's a DD and d campaign called Descent to, into Avernus. And what basically happens, if you don't want to be spoiled about what happens in that campaign, um, mute for like a minute? It won't be long. Um, but basically happens in that campaign why is that the whole happen? town of Elturel is transported into Avernus, the first layer of hell where we also Come woke up in the very beginning. Now what? And, we dig a um, hole and be done with him? Yeah, things we, are resolved during that campaign, we like could say um, which we also heavily features yeah. Bolo's Gate, the city itself, which is quite yeah. interesting due to that. Um, that but yeah, the population of El Torel isn't too fond anymore of tieflings, so they're basically like all cast out. And yeah, that's why also we have this group of tiefling refugees here. Poor guys. I've only ever played about once in a one-shot and basically spent the entire combat stuck with fear, so I just ran in it. 
<laughs> oh no. I really like bards. I gotta say it's my favorite class. Like first time I played BG3, I also played a bard, and now I'm playing a paladin slash bard, and I have a starion as a bard, and yeah. <laughs> I really do like bards. What's your favorite class? I based my bard off cast from Breath of the Wild. Oh, that's nice. Pretty really cool bard. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. But especially given their past, it's even it's even more sad that the druids are not going to let them stay here for a while. But I mean, you could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. And also, why do the druids think that this whole goblin problem just vanishes when the tieflings are gone? I don't think goblins really care about the victims. So, how far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk maybe. Oh. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Yeah, so far we really have no idea where we actually are, right? We just no. fell down from a huge ship. Did you free take so long to download? Thank you, Steam. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We should have time for that. Yeah. But yeah, it really does. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the one who Oh. Classic Ethan. Um the enemy is surprised. Yeah, I'm Surprise too. Thank you, game, for not counting that. Um, I just wanted to say that's the tiefling who watched us through the telescope. Nadira, who was frightened. Black bear assassin. I wonder why he especially wants to kill her. Okay. My favorite class is probably cleric. Oh, they're also really nice and really versatile depending on which subclass you take. I like playing a support role, and my first ever PC was a cleric. Fun to DM for a bath, though. <laughs> Do you usually like uh, more often DM or play yourself? Um, I mean, it's just one bugbear, right? But we really don't want her to get hurt. But she's also not surprised. So I would say let's start slow and not burn through. Haha, <laughs> burn through. Um, <laughs> all our resources. I like playing as a bard since Neverwinter Nights 1, where my character was an elven bard. Oh yeah, you told that the first time we played, I think, too. What was their name again? Oh, come on, hit! Yeah. Uh, I really want to use guiding bolts. No, going easy with resources. Oh wow. A whole one damage. Go for some vicious mockery, which really doesn't deal a lot, lot of damage. But the disadvantage on attacks is nice. Hey, and it was more than Shadow Hearts Sacred Flame. Right, can we jump there? It is so insane how far you can jump. Look at that, like my normal walking distance would be up to here, but with the power of jumping and a bonus action, we can go up to here. No, no, no. I pressed. Wow. Wow, Ethan. <laughs> ah, I was too excited, I pressed space, so I kind of skipped my turn. Wow. Um, great, I guess. Oh, hey, Diana! How are you? You bet up, my game went broken. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, but what we're going to do, so the Buckbear Assassin isn't going for her, is just going to go into melee range. So at least we do get attacks of opportunity if he decides to go. Uh, any way of like restoring your game, Diana, or completely lost? Am I the only one with Ethan sounding weird? I do sound weird. Do I? <laughs> I'm not sure why, if I am. It's okay to me, I think. Weird how? Yeah, good question. I didn't really change anything. It's still the same microphone, the same settings. But feel free to say, like, how I sound weird. Um, 
You know what? I think with Astarion, kind of metallic key, trying to restart which. Okay, I hope that fixes it. Um, with Astarion, we're going to go for just a normal melee attack. Um, because I think it deals just more damage. I'm here. Okay, this time we're not going to throw away our action. Um, I would really love to see if we could push him off, but we just use our bonus action, so I guess not. And what? Nice, critical. Is that blood? That was really cool. Never mind. Yeah, we starting Twitch fixed it. Weird. It really is weird. Even though I'm glad it's not my settings. So yeah, how are you, Diana? How was your week so far? Hey, Nadira. Or should we use the telescope first? Let's talk first. Maybe that's kind of... You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, I think that goes for most people one-on-one. -on -one. Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Excuse me? Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Oh, that's interesting. I just played it like last time as a as a tiefling, and then I was like, I think it was even like an Avernus tiefling. So I was like, oh yeah, okay, makes sense that you mistrust me and think I'm coming to retrieve your soul coin, which is basically something from the hells, like a coin or soul inside. Pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, apparently. Also, as a drow, she says that. But I mean, we went to literally a bonus, so. <laughs> Deception. You got me. Hand the coin over and I'll be on my way. Mm, I'm kind of tempted to just say, exasperated, the puppy would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I got? I was like, literally. Hmm. And I finished my Will Romans Sunday and waited to start a new game until patch, but somewhat was bad and even disabling all, I could not start the game. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, the game also didn't like that I have like a third party mod, but well, it's working for the time being. Hmm. I mean, why not use the Paladin line? I don't think Lavender would say that his path is a noble one. But hey, the path I follow is far more noble. If you possess a devil's artifact, you should leave it in my charge. I'm going to be chased all over Faerun for this I damn coin, aren't I? <laughs> Fine. Take it as a grudging payment for the rescue. Now leave me in peace. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a Just try to help you. Inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. Yeah, interesting things, and very unfortunate souls inside. Do you say anything more? That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. Well, I guess it's a matter of time <laughs> if a squid is going to get its tentacles on it. Peer through the telescope. Oh, it's a red dragon. I mean, both as a perception check, but it sounds like way smarter to use the telescope trying to get a clear view than just like squinting my eyes, right? Lavender focuses the telescope on the distant object, trying to get a clear view. Uh, ten. Come on, guidance. We really need someone of guidance also in the future. It's a dragon. So after we last session of the dungeon, now we have like the dragon. A bird of prey, hunting. Lavender moves the telescope to the left. The telescope points to the left. Amy kind of flew left, right? Uh, I guess that's just destruction. So the telescope the right. points straight ahead. I 
can still heal the dragon. <laughs> no, I married Will and we had a child. That's like an interesting ending. Did Will go to... A, what, what was his... Um, I don't want to spoil here for people who are new to the game. Um, what was his uh, decision in the end? What was his fate? Okay, let's the move telescope the telescope to the right again. To the right. Aha. Oh well. Here, a roof. 